Hey, hello grade 8. My name is Joy from Joy T Academy and today I want to finish this topic, right? Remember, under this topic, we are working with terms, right? So, you must know how to add the like terms, okay? You must know how to subtract the like terms, right? You must know how to multiply the expressions mm -hmm. monomial binomial trinomial multi ply you must know how to multiply and today we are looking at this one you must know how to divide it's very important okay check this video check this video check this video and today we are here okay remember you must know how to divide uh integers you must know how to divide integers and monomial and the monomial monomial remember monomial means monomial right hopefully i'm correct monomial okay mono means one which means one term right mm -hmm. like i said here we are working with terms uh-huh you'll be given an expression divided by integer or divided by monomial okay let me do example two x is a monomial right divided by two do you see now two is an integer dividing what a monomial what is the answer here if if we get situation like this where the expression is divided by just uh, an integer i mean without a letter okay what do you do you focus on the numbers only you say two divided by two is going to be one as you know we do not write one x okay this one how do you write this one you just because that one means 1x. What do you see here? You see x alone, right? 1x. That's what it means. Not like that. Like this. Okay? Okay. Before I continue with this, this is the rule that is going to be very helpful. Okay? This one, you must know that when you are dividing the same letters, okay? or terms with the same letters okay this is going to be helpful we have to remember this because this is what this is the backbone of this concept okay all the time when we are dividing the same letters you take as one letter the exponents you say the top one minus the bottom one this is the law exponential law is very important grade eight and grade nine hey but not this term for grade nine okay so this is very important this is going to be helpful in the long run only if you have the same letters okay let's say you have y y uh power two sorry to the power of three divided by um divided by what let's say you have y to the power of three divided by x squared can you i mean do you see what i see there's nothing you can do here there's nothing you can do letters are not the same which means this will remain the same as the other one the, the, the other side okay there's nothing you can do here. It doesn't matter even if the exponents are the same. Okay. Even if you have x squared divided by y squared. Okay. There's nothing you can do here. These are not the same or same letters. This works only if you are given um, terms with the same letters. So then you can apply this rule. Okay. You have to pay attention to that. That's one is very important. Uh -huh. very important okay let's continue with this one 
let me say we are given six mm -hmm. x squared divided by 3x uh-huh what do you do here focus on the numbers first okay now is what three okay sorry six divided by three is going to be two now the rules say you have x x okay this is x x some letters you take as one x now you have what you have that uh two the top one is two the bottom one if you have watched my previous videos you will know that there is one there so two minus one you do not write one here mm -hmm. always here we do not write one in mathematics in exponents and coefficients so this is your final answer let's say you have eight x squared or oh, power three divided by um two x again the first part you focus on the numbers so 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4 x and x you take as 1x the exponents remember is 3 minus what is here is 1 so your answer is going to be 2 so we have exponent 2 here do you see the difference now this is where you are given expression like monomial divided by um integer monomial divided by monomial monomial divided by no monomial now what happens if we are given binomial let me say you have uh you have six x plus four divided by integer let me say you are given something like this uh-huh now remember you have this line this line means the division right which means 6x plus 4 all divided by 2 which means this 6x is, is divided by 2 and this positive 4 is also divided by 2 that what you do that is going to be your step uh -huh. you show the marker that hey I understand that 6x is divided by 2 plus 4 is divided by 2. But do you see that we are going back here? So if you understood this assignment, which means you know what to do here, right? You start with the numbers first. 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. Okay, let's go to the numbers. This 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. Now, this is your answer. Let's try this one. We have 4. Oh, let me say 14. X uh, power 3. Um, minus 7. Divided by 7. Okay. What does this mean? This means 14x power th to the power of 3 minus 7 is all divided by 7. Okay, now how to show that? You tell the marker that, hey, I know that this 14x to the power of 3 is divided by 7. And this negative 7 is also divided by 7. You tell the marker, right then make your the marker proud okay and then from there what to do you say okay i know this is going to be 14 divided by 7 is going to be 2 to what 2x to the power of 3 negative 7 divided by 7 is going to be negative 1 this is going to be your final answer okay again let's try this one what are you going to do here you do the same thing 
to say okay i know that this two is dividing 3x and negative 5. so in this case learners please this is your final answer okay for the fact that you are co for this one two divided by two we are going to get negative two comma five you do not write it like this okay you always leave it in fraction as you can see here mm -hmm. always as you can see here you can't write 1.5 x no we leave it like this 8 x divided by 2 x what are you going to do you do the same thing right you say say i know that this 4x squared is divided by 2x and this 8x is also divided by 2x okay and then the next move you focus on the coefficients 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2 remember earlier we talked about this rule you take as one and then top exponent minus the bottom one all right so here we have the same letters you take as one two minus one is going to be one remember we do not write one there like this no mm -mm. not like that so this is going to be our answer and then positive 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4. Aha! Do you remember this rule? Any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, what do I mean by that? x divided by x is 1x. Top exponent is 1. Bottom exponent is minus 1. Your answer is going to be x power 0. And any number to the power of 0 is 1. So, in other words, 4 times 1 is 4. So, this is going to be your answer. Okay. A trinomial divided by um, integer. Okay. This is the same concept. Okay. You tell the marker, hey, I know that this 2x squared is divided by 2 and this 8x is divided by 2. This negative 4 is divided by 2. So you do what you know best. Tell me what you know best. You know that 2 divided by 2 is 1. Again, you do not write like this. Okay, because we do not have x here. So there's nothing to do with x. So this is going to be 1 x squared we are not going to touch x squared there again here only the numbers mm -hmm. h divided by 2 is going to be 4 for what for x because what hey we do not have an x here this one simple are the numbers so negative 4 divided by 2 is going to be negative 2 this is your final answer divided by 3x okay what are you going to do here you do the same thing i know that 3x squared is divided by 3x and this 2x is also divided by 3x this negative 5 is divided by 3x okay what are you going to do 3 divided by 3 is 1 okay but again, you do not write one like this. We have x, we have x. So we take as one x. The top exponent is 2. The bottom one is 1. So we have like something like this, but we do not write 1. Okay. We have something like this actually. 1, 1. Okay. But we do not write it like this. We leave those ones alone. Or we keep them invisible. Let me say it like that. Okay. Then we have x here. 
alone then we like i said if you have a fraction like this don't force to write i don't know what is this don't force to write uh, it in decimal which means this is going to be like will remain the same actually this will remain the same it's a fraction there's nothing you can do with it this is going to be one like i said before uh -huh. one minus one is x to power zero and the number to the power of zero is one so this is going to be like this again there is nothing you can do here you don't have an x there which means your x will remain below there is nothing you can do with this term there is nothing you can do with this term so we are done so let me know if you have a question. My name is Joy T from Joy T Academy. The next topic is going to be, if you're interested to check how to solve x's, please, how to solve for y, what, for, I mean, for whatever letter. So stick around and please like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you talk about it to your friends. With, hey, there's this Joy T Academy. Trust me, that joy mm, of math, you get it there. Please don't forget to subscribe. Like, comment. Mm -hmm. See you soon, guys.